Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Ludwig Rodl and Friedrich Seimisch. This very beautiful and instructive game was played in Germany in 1931. Rodl had white pieces and he started with e4. Seimisch played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, the standard move. Knight to c6, d4. C takes on d4. Knight takes on d4. Knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4. Knight to c3 defending, d6 controlling e5 square, bishop to e2, e6, this is the Scheveningen variation of the Sicilian defense. Rodlu castle at king's side, bishop to e7, f4, Seimisch castle at king's side 2, bishop to e3, bishop to d7, bishop to f3, queen to b8, in some variations intending e5 also intending rook to d8, queen to d2, rook to d8, rook from a to d1, black to move, with less space, black wants to trade pieces, so we have a knight takes on d4, vacating the square for the bishop, bishop takes on d4, bishop to c6, queen to f2, e5, white to move, to take on e5 or to play bishop to e3. Bishop to e3 was played and that is the best move. If f takes on e5, then d takes on e5. And after bishop to e3, rook takes on d1. After rook takes on d1, queen to c7 and it is about equal. Back to our game. So we have bishop to e3, b5 white to move g4 is it safe yes it is b4 attack in the knight knight to d5 bishop takes on d5 e takes on d5 pawn takes pawn on f4 bishop takes on f4 g5 is coming anytime so same is played knight to d7 bishop to e4 black to move Rook to f8. Well, uh, Seimish would love to play knight to e5, but this has a downside. Then bishop takes on e5, and after d takes on e5, queen takes on f7, check, winning the bishop. And the game. Back to our game. Rook to f8, defending f7 square, f7 pawn. It is white to move. How would you improve the position? if you had white pieces. Rodl played rook to d3, the rook lift, the rook is on the way to the king's side, queen to b6 offering to trade the queens, bishop to e3, queen to c7, bishop to d4, also clearing the path for the rook, bishop to f6, offering to trade dark squared bishops, it is white to move, what would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find rook to h3? Is this a good move? Then h6. And black is fighting back. Back to our game. In this position. Rodl played. Are you ready to see the move? Bishop takes on h7 check. Let's take it back. Before you sacrifice the bishop, you have to see bishop takes on h7, king takes bishop, rook to h3 check, king to g8. And then the queen would love to come to h4. But bishop is defending. So you play bishop takes bishop and then queen to h4. And that is enough for you to see in order to sacrifice on h7. So we have bishop takes on h7, king takes bishop, rook to h3 as planned, king to g8, bishop takes on f6, removing the defender of the h4 square, knight to f6, queen to h4 threatening check mate, queen to c5 check, and white must block with the rook, knight to h5, postponing the destiny, queen takes on h5, but now f6, intending to escape 
g5, intending g6 and checkmate on h8. But now queen takes on d5, x-raying the white queen, so g6 doesn't work, does it? Rodel played, queen to h7 check, king to f7, white to move. How would you continue now? What would you do? White played a move and black resigned and the move is rook takes pawn on f6. Samish resigned for the entertainment purpose. I will show you just one line. King to e8, rook to e3 check, king to d7, queen takes on g7 check, king to c6, rook takes rook, and after rook takes rook, queen takes rook, and white is easily winning. I guess we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.